and most of us won't ever be in a situation where we are targets like this, but none of us is immune to an attack, that's for sure. On your side, investigator Anna Canzano joins us from Whistling now with insight from a security expert on ways to make your home safer, Anna. Well, Steve, it comes down to two things, really. Have you thought about what you might do given that kind of situation, and how can you reduce the risk areas around your house? Here we have lighting, and we have overhead lighting, and we have these two nice aesthetic lights, and be very easy to tie this lighting into motion. Security consultant John Posey says you can make your home safer by walking around it and looking at it through the eyes of an intruder. Find what he calls the sweet spots, secluded areas where they can gain entry and light up those areas with motion sensors. Somebody coming here to do bad things does not want to see an active house where the lights are going to come on. That's, they're going to pick something else that's uncomfortable. And the reality is a lot of us simply can't afford a security system, so you could just go to the hardware store and make your house a lot safer for less than $100. The main difference is the degree of motion. Motion detectors at Home Depot start as low as $15. Some come with audible alarms you can place on windows and doors. It's a wise investment. It's a safe one. But just as important, says Posey, is your frame of mind. Avoid ploys from attackers to gain your trust and get close to you. And know in your mind what you would do if that were to happen. Is the common trait between survivors that they have fought back, or is the common trait between survivors that they comply? Um, for men, the statistics going into seclusion and being uh, bound or controlled and being in seclusion, the survival rate is low, extremely low percentage. Uh, some women, there's a small percentage of women that have gone into that, uh, a better percentage for women, and some have resisted from the outset and survived, and some have decided to try to um, negotiate or get them to identify with them personally, and that has worked. Now, if you do have a security system, and keep in mind, you can get some monitored systems for under $40 a month. Make sure you know how to use it. In this case, knowing how to send a silent panic alarm to police helped Gert Boyle because essentially officers interrupted the crime at her home. Reporting live in Westland, Anna, Anna Canzano, K2 News. Anna, you bring up some great reminders, and we're all just relieved, really, that Gert's system worked. Thank you, Anna, very much.